Guys, welcome back to Siapolis 2 episode 2. The goal for today's episode is to get a mob farm going. Now let's start with this. We'll need some vector plates. These are easily made in a stone cutter with some deep slate or some black stone. And because we have the resource generators, we got basically plenty of them. Now if you get a blank plates, you just do this you get enough vector plates. I believe this will be enough for now, but we might as well make some more. Does basalt make? It does. Nice. And deep slate? And deep slate. Perfect. Next thing is some swords, guys. And this is where the structure crafter comes in. Um, let's place it here. Yeah. One up. Then shift, right click the structured crafter into the second chest. And then you just go like a so three chests then you can remove this then we'll need some cobblestone in this one some cobblestone in the second one and some sticks i'm not sure how many i will need so let's place a few and then i need a lever smash it this should create swords nice so this device is actually very cool, to be honest. And this we need to make damage plates, main plates, and then upgrade them to the player damage plates. I think we just need one damage plate, guys. So we just need one sword. That's okay. Later on, we will need more swords. Damage plates, nice. Let's actually make the next one. What was it? We can get another sword. We can turn this off. And yeah, this we can't do yet because we actually need to build a basic mob farm. First, get the spider eyes, rotten flesh bones, gunpowder, upgrade the plates because they need these items. And then you can make the player damage plate. Alright guys, then I believe the yeah, mob farm needs to be at least 24 blocks away from me. So my main area of work is here so i'm gonna assume that one two three four five six i need 18 more and i'm just gonna go like a so yeah this base needs a revamp because i don't have a middle maybe that's gonna be my middle yeah like a so all right so i placed a damage plate at the end of this hallway. And now be careful guys, you need to shift with this place because if you don't, oh, they're not that fast anyways. Uh, if you hold shift, you can walk through them. Anyways, place plates like so. Basically all the mobs will be transferred there until they are slayed. And of course, Enderman might teleport out until we get the Enderman, what do you call it? Ender? scrambler all right now let's make a nine by nine area i mean you can make it more but i don't know is there a point hmm i thought slabs block light but maybe that's a new mechanic that i'm not aware of Okay, so it seems that light is going through slabs. Um, so let's remove the slabs then. Alright guys, the slab idea was bad. Maybe that was an older version of Minecraft, but uh, I thought slabs were blocking the light. Alright, now adding the slabs on top is preventing the mobs spawning here. It's absolutely necessary. Now let's see if I stand here. Perfect. We got mobs spawning, guys. You see them on the map? Is that an Enderman? We're so lucky. It is an Enderman. Where did he teleport? Where did he die? I don't think he died. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. You think we will die? We will probably. <laughs> Let's test it out. Hello. Oh my god. Oh. No, 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 no. Nice. Very nice. Very nice, guys. <laughs> Very nice. Um, actually, this is good because I wanted something from him. I think I wanted... Oh, can you hear the skeleton, guys? That's amazing. Now, what is the range of this thing? Can I... Oh, no. 
Oh, come on. Iron pickaxe. Well, we've got some iron from the yacht, guys. I might as well make an iron pickaxe, you know. That's not the best thing to do, but... We have to. So let's get this thing and place it just under this thing. I'm not sure what the area is, but hopefully this works perfectly fine. All right, why is nothing spawning in? Maybe I should make a bigger area. Oh yeah, guys. That's amazing. Five gunpowder. Nice. Got some bee bags. Well, we will need a lot more. A lot more of everything. Alright, guys. The block. This block didn't work. The ender scrambler. Maybe I need to click on it? Because this guy teleported here. Well, let's see if this is my first death. Oops. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> Nice! Basic loot box. Right click. Um, I guess we got the apples. Anyways, how does this work then? The Ender Scrambler. Maybe it needs to be set like this. Alright guys, it hasn't been much time. Maybe two minutes, maybe less. We got, I believe we got everything we need to progress with the plates. That should be easy. Nice. Oh wait, we need to place that in the inventory. Perfect. Bone. Yep. And then gunpowder. That's amazing. Now, we definitely need this. So we got this and we need three main plates. All right. We got everything, I believe. This actually go on top. Noise. Oh, hello. <laughs> I need to block this because skeletons are occasionally shooting at me. Spider. Come on, spider. I saw you there. All right. Let's replace the thing. With better one, this one. I believe this will also provide us with uh, loot bags. Oh, hello. Let's see. Let's see the Enderman, guys. Will he teleport? He doesn't. So you have to right click the Ender Scramble. Scrambler to work. Perfect. And we got another basic loot box. That's fantastic. Oh, the spiders are not coming through. So I need to increase this. Uh, this needs to be three by three, I believe. Let's widen up this passage and we'll see. Right, this is getting quite dangerous now. Right, I think the best way is to set this like a so, so the spiders don't climb walls. Right, and the most dangerous part is removing these. <laughs> no, 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 ah, no! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, this was kind of stupid. Oh no, not a creeper. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this is fun. This is... Oh no. Oh no. Skeleton, no, no, no. Skeleton, no. Oh my god. Stop. Please don't. Oh, let's close this up. Oh no, look at it, look at this. Should be okay. <laughs> oh my god. At least we got a lot of swords. Right. Skeleton, please stop. Right, the first thing I want to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. No. No. Alright. And then... Yep, perfect. Alright, it's fixed. <laughs> what? What the hell was that? It was like a cannon or something. I think I'm gonna do this. Alright guys, basically what I need to do is uh, make the vector plates that are close to the wall 
face inwards so the spiders have no chance of climbing a wall. Alright, this should be fine now, guys. This should be... Alright, guys, I'm going for some dinner with my wife and I'll be back. Alright, guys, it's been about uh, 20 minutes and these are the results. Which are quite good. And we got a potato, which is amazing. Alright, guys, we got eight basic loot boxes. Let's see what we get. Okay. Um. Well, that's kind of disappointing, to be honest. Also, we got some armor. And I think we can upgrade some plates. Alright, 54, that's amazing. Um, now how do we do it? Uh, it's kind of scary. Oh no. Just stay in there. Stay in there, okay? Ah! Yeah guys, so the vector plates, the ultimate ones, were just enough for the tunnel, uh, but we will upgrade them all eventually. Alright guys, let's get our V-Bucks, I believe every reward, oh no, it gives more ice, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 V-Bucks and more ice, and we also, oh, plus 8 bucks, nice, and we also unlocked these. Egg plates, which I don't think I want right now. Mob filters, ender. Oh, that's where the radius is. I see. But we don't really need anything. I want the infinity wand, which is, I need rotten flesh. And more, I believe. Yeah. Get some gunpowder and bones. That. That. Alright, got some more flesh and flesh. This should be. Yeah. Noise! Oh my god, infinity wounds, building gadget, template manager, template. Open paste, paste container, take pressure, and open prism tool. This is fantastic, guys. Alright, guys, what happens if we extend the farm? No. Well, that looks like absolute poop. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. It's uh, kind of poopish. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. Well, I'll finish it off and I'll be back. All right, guys. I got slightly carried away. And yeah, I was just creating. I didn't know if it was gonna look cool or not. It kind of looks poopish, but this is what we got <laughs> some alien structure looking like a fox or something. I don't know. But yeah, only thing left to do. This looks like a Pikachu or something. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bad builder, guys. I'm a bad builder. Alright, guys. I'm just gonna place some chests. Alright, guys. Well, I'm just gonna stand here. I should block myself. Right. I'm gonna watch a movie and I'll be back with the results. Alright, guys. It's been about two hours, two and a half hours. Um, there's quite a lot of loot. I just don't understand. It seems like the chest is filled half the way up. And then the next chest is being filled. Anyways, we got a stack and almost a second one of basic loot boxes. Let's open them up. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Solar cooker. Well, I guess we have a three cooker or something. <laughs> Alright, I guess I've placed three iron chests. And three copper chests on the sides. We got quite a few resources. But that was two hours or two and a half. Let's go for a night time. I'll see you soon. Alright, let's see. Okay. 
Окей. Okay, so the chest don't work like this. So this side of the chest cannot be filled. Kind of annoying. Okay, we need a trash can as up, guys. There's, there's multiple items. I believe they are just stuck there. All right, guys. Progress report. Now, if I have done this earlier, we wouldn't have that much trouble. So basically, I've been going around chests, picking out bows because we won't really need them, picking up instrumental instruments, and yeah, I've now filtered them, so bows, arrows, the instruments, some carrots, will go to a trash can and will not pass through this thing. So if we go like this, yeah, all these go to the trash can. Bows, instruments, oh, that's a different one, I haven't put this yet. Tuba edit, I remove the NBT tag, so basically if you filter in and say stone pickaxe, I shift left click on it, there is one tag on it, and the tag is basically it's damaged. If you control delete, the tag is removed, and if you submit it, basically the filter picks up any damage of the item. So this will make it so that all the bows go to a trash can or all the instruments, but you have to do it for each one. Unless there's another way that I don't know of. That's what I've been doing. Now, in regards to the armor, the armor we will keep, and I believe I will show you in the next episode of why. I'll be back with more progress, guys. One more thing I'm doing, guys. Leather armor. Basically, what you can do is... Right, now if we place this here, this will go on a cutting board and I believe we can use shears to get leather, guys. Isn't that amazing? Alright guys, I'm clearing up. I've cleared up the chests. We've got so much gold stuff. So much gold stuff. Now the gold I'm keeping, everything else is going into the trash can. Also leather got two and a half stacks and that means i will not gather any more leather items all right guys now for the rotten flesh bones string void upgrade hey okay, i guess you need to hold the wallet shift right click get the big bucks out now let's get actually we got a lot of coins let's get a few of those right this this um, I mean, I don't need string. Arrows definitely void. I'll hold on to this for now. Arrows void, string void, void flesh and bones void. Let's see. Oh, and gunpowder. Wait, I don't have a gunpowder chest? I mean, oh no, I do. Definitely do. <laughs> there it is. So... Let's upgrade that. Nice. So how many b bucks do we have now? There's a six. Not bad. Not bad. Alright guys, let's open up four stacks of basic loot boxes. Let's see what we get. Apples, spider eyes, bones, rotten flesh, gunpowder, a lot of redstone glass, a lot of luminous glass. We got some solar cookers which is nice and we can combine them with a shining block of diamond on top and the reflectors as well just like a so and this actually cooks apples so i mean it doesn't cook apples it, it cooks stuff hmm. maybe i'm doing something wrong guys anyways we got some cookers we can actually set up a vast amount of uh, solar cooker thing in my book like a furnace setup all right guys so i checked the internet on what's up with the solar cooker oops one more here so solar cooker the reflector goes like a soul and what i've done is actually set up five of them with uh, four reflectors and a shining block of diamond on top i believe this this road doesn't do anything but anyways and now i have an input chest so basically, if I put potatoes here, wow, oh my god. Yeah, everything is starting cooking. And it's going 
pretty fast, pretty fast to be honest. And then once it's done, I've got output coming in to here. So basically what I've done is place pipe with an ultimate pipe upgrade. We got it from a quest reward, I think. Yes. Um, and then this goes with around with the round robin distribution into the cookers. Oops. Alright. And then I got another set of pipes uh, just set to output with a pipe wrench. No, no item pipe upgrades. They go down. Now I disconnected this side, these two pipes. Because if, if they are connected, the cooked things will go back into the cookers, which we don't want. And then the pipes go into the output chest. And now we have some, basically some free furnaces. For example, we can get like three stacks of logs, put them inside here. And boom, this soon will be turned into charcoal. And this with a shining block of diamond. Basically the solar cooker uses sun energy, but with the shining block of diamond on top, it doesn't require sun, so it works at night as well. And yeah, that's... Uh, well, why not use it if uh, if the pack is giving it to us? Nice. Alright guys, I did some cleaning up. These are the things I'm going to use in the next episode. Or at least I store them in this chest and I'll definitely mo need more. Uh, I'm not cleaning this up yet because sometimes it does make some pebbles, which we will need in the next episode. And I moved all the chests here. Oh, yeah, guys, that's it. <laughs> and I've made a platform. The results of our labor, guys. We got we got one pair of diamond leggings, guys. This is amazing. But the refined obsidian are better. That's amazing. Anyways, any iron items and gold items, diamond items, refined will stay. Everything else will go into the trash can. <laughs> Why? Why am I Steve? Oh my god, that armor is fantastic, fantastic. Anyways guys, we build a defected Pikachu, what should we call it? It's like a, no, it's like another Pokemon, was it called Unknown or something? Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!